Two people uh, died today from injuries they sustained when an explosion rocked an election campaign rally by Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa at the weekend. Mnangagwa escaped unhurt from Saturday's blast in the city of Bulawayo, an opposition stronghold. Police say they're searching for the suspects and a motive. Meanwhile, South Africa's International Relations Minister Lindu Sisulu has condemned the attack. She was speaking to our reporter Mbali Tetani on the sidelines of the ANC's manifesto launch in Pretoria. It is shock, horror, disgust. It has never happened in the history of uh, uh, a, a country in the run-up to democracy, especially in Zimbabwe. And um, we've uh, had interaction with uh, the president of Zimbabwe on a number of occasions. We have had interactions as SADC. Uh, with the Minister of International Relations of uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, this matter has been discussed at the organ, in, uh, which is the security and politics uh, uh, segment of uh, SADC. And uh, we were quite certain that Zimbabwe is very ready to go to elections. We've been there ourselves, we've looked at the situation, we're quite convinced it's going to be a very democratic open election. The last thing we expected was what happened in Bulawayo. And uh, the president has expressed himself in a very strongly worded uh, statement, and I'd like it to find resonance within the discussions. We cannot have uh, a, a, an Afri a prosperous Africa, an Africa that f is free to trade with each other, all the, all the good things that we are wanting to put on the table of the AU and SADC, and still have something like this happening in an otherwise normal process of run-up to elections. It is abhorrent, it is wrong, it is, uh, and I hope that they find the perpetrators and they bring them to book so that we should give Africa a lesson that it doesn't happen. Uh, the same thing happened in, in, uh, in uh, Ethiopia. In this case, it's not a, a run-up to election. It is in support of a president who is a city prime minister, who is a sitting prime minister, and the people of Ethiopia had come to give their support to him. And the grenade was so was such an insult to what otherwise should have been a peaceful support for a president, a prime minister. Uh, and we in, in, we've also sent our um, message to the pre to prime minister of Ethiopia, uh, giving him the necessary support and comfort in a situation like this. Uh, we hear that there were quite a lot of uh, injuries and we are hoping that none of them turn into fatalities. But it is something we have to turn to very quickly as we go to Mauritania and make, she, make sure that it is an item, one of the first items. Uh, we, we, we need to stop violence. These are, these are measures that are very anti-democracy.